I would say it's passion. You know, when you are when you are into something and you dedicated your life for for the sport and 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 that thing has been keeping me going. Over. Tell me, what's your take on the current state of table tennis in Nigeria? Uh, I would say this, the stake is high uh, because we have a couple of uh, young players, up and coming players who, who have been doing, making the country proud in uh, some of the international tournaments around the world. Uh, I would say the, the stake is high. But like we've been doing before, you know, we've been ever, ever since the inspection of all African games, Nigeria has been the, the top contender in the sport in Africa. Uh, I would say we, anybody that made, made the team will perf we perform very well in the Congo and the country will be proud. Back then we have, we have in a year we have about nine tournaments in a year but these days we few ones and uh, a lot of players lost interest in the game because you know when you are doing something and you are not making anything from it you tend to look for another you tend to look another way so all those things uh, contributed a lot to the development of table tennis in Nigeria. okay it's about time to talk table tennis mm -hmm. now before the break you listen to monday motoro also an experienced table tennis player in nigeria came back to try his hand to see if he can make it to the all africa games but that couldn't happen so it's about to find out how ready table tennis mm -hmm. is in Nigeria. When you talk table tennis in Nigeria, Cecilia started by mentioning Shagun Toriola and Funke Oshanaike. Right, That's yeah. experience right there. But today on the program, we're able to get Shagun Toriola, yeah, but no right. Funke Oshanaike, no who Oshanaike. brought the best female table tennis player in Nigeria. Her name is Adam of Young Guys. Good to have you. Great to have you. This morning. You're welcome Good to the show. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Shegu Toriola there doesn't come out to talk of food, mm. but we brought him out. So Shegu, you need to come you talk to Nigerians. Uh, but that's the tradition. It's ladies first. Uh, so, yeah. um, <laughs> Cecilia. Okay, let, let me start this first question with uh, Shegu Toriola. You've been to the Olympics six times. So mm. I, w I was looking at your profile this morning. I was bored by it because I was trying to, you know, make sense out of it in the sense that how do you manage to go you know, year in year out and, and of course when it comes to Africa you're the most successful player in Africa when it comes to all Africa games you won it four times back to back how do you manage success well uh, it's a lot of hard work and uh, you know in sport and you, if you want to be a good player you need to work very hard train very hard also you, you have to make a lot of sacrifice I mean uh, sacrifice, what I mean by sacrifice is uh, how you're going to program yourself, your lifestyle, all these kind of things. I think that's what's really helped me because uh, when you become a champion, you, everybody, you know, when you want to champion, you have to think about a lot of people, you know, they're after you, a lot of players after you. Then you have to be concentrated on what you are doing. Apart from, you, you know, you train very hard, you have to make a lot of Sacrifice. You need to program yourself. Anything you are doing, your lifestyle, everything needs to be changed. So I think that's what helps. Shagun, look at the screen. Um, that was, I'm yeah. sure, an unforgettable moment for you. What were you thinking returning those rallies? Well, um, you know, in table tennis, our point is very, very important. You know, uh, I don't. They, I remember in Commonwealth game. This is the match in Commonwealth last year, and I was losing 2-0 down. And you know, the points I took it helped me. You know, to mm. came back from 2-0 to 2-2 two, two, mm. and uh, mm. almost won the game. And uh, the last set is 11-9. So in terms of tennis, each point is very important. No matter how it's difficult, it's, you have to fight to win mm. every point. Mm. Mm. Well, that incredible. Something that you just incredible. Want to keep watching and, uh, and watching and watching. ITTF couldn't resist that moment. It was part of that moment of 2014. Let's bring Adam Mafia okay. into this. You are the defending champion at uh, the African Games. Uh, how ready are you to retain that title? I am very well prepared for this uh, uh, All African Games because uh, I am the defending champion and all eyes are on me. I know. <laughs> I know it's going to be a bit difficult mm. because uh, the Egyptians, like they say, they are in uh, China training and we are in Nigeria, but we are not scared of them anyway. <laughs> it's, it's just table tennis. Uh, I mean, 
Speaking about the Egyptians, you know, because uh, I think they, they well, well, we all know that they are Nigeria's biggest right. rivals. I mean, um, I, 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 I want to throw this question to, uh, to both of you. I mean, uh, what is it really? Does it, is it a question of, or should I say, what are they doing really well that perhaps we haven't started doing yet, you know, in order to, get, get to uh, uh, you know, give them a real challenge? What they are doing is uh, they play more of uh, protos, you know, like we now. The last, uh, if I can, if I can really remember, the last tournament I played that was um, the Nigerian proto. The Lagos. Uh, yes, they play all. They from January to December they play all the protos. That is why they they are picking up very very fast. Mm. And if we can, if we can, we well, all we are just playing is sponsors. If we can go to even if even if it's one or two. We can do more better in this game because we have the facilities. We don't, we don't have the facilities, but we have the talent. Yeah. All we just need is sponsors. Okay, more tours and yes, more, more training, more uh, pro tours and more of a, um, international tournament because you can't just play in Nigeria and you think you go and win people playing outside, playing all tournaments, playing in a good uh, environment and all of that. Okay. Mm. You so actually, we need is sponsors. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, you actually talked about the fact that you know the, the, the Egyptians are actually in China training, and you guys are here in Nigeria training. And Chegun Terela, you know, last week you talked about the problem of coaching and all yeah. that. So how does this this relate? Because you have China training over there. You guys, you have Egypt training in China, Nigeria training, Nigeria training in Nigeria, Nigeria and you're going through to <laughs> Lagos, <laughs> and you're going to meet them. You know, how will this work out for 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 you when you get to World Africa Games next month? Well, it's, uh, I don't think, for now, I don't think we have a problem about that because uh, most of us in the team, uh, we are professional players. It okay. helps the team a lot because uh, if, if you don't have people like in professional uh, level, uh, it's going to affect them okay. because in, in the Egyptian, like, like, I, uh, like she said, uh, they are in China. It's true. I saw them in China when I went to China in the last month for the coaching and the youth yeah. program. Yeah, I saw that we are in the same college, Tipton of College. Um, they are, you know, they are, they are lucky because their country, you know, they invest on them a lot. Mm -hmm. I think this is what really helped them a lot because they invest a lot. And, and before we used to, to win against Egyptian for many years, more than three decades. But, the, but now they are, Improve, they improve a lot because simply because their government, you know, is spending a lot of money on them. They have a coaching, a uh, good coach, they have a Chinese coach, uh, something like that. But the problem we have in Nigeria is we have a coaching problem, I need to tell you the truth. But a lot of people do not agree on that. Uh, it's like when you, it's like you want to do an exam and uh, you don't study how you're going to pass. Because the coaching need to teach the young one the basic table tennis. If you don't teach them table tennis, uh, so, so a lot of people are saying, ah, they need tournaments. No, that is not the only tournament. First of all, we need coach that have to let them understand the basic of table tennis. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, then when you understand that, then you play a tournament. So the problem we have in Nigeria is coaching because we have a lot of coaches that they don't really devote their time anymore on the young one. I remember when I was young in Kedet, uh, there's a lot of coaches that they really devote their time on the young one. They they always almost you know slept in the hall. But that now most of the coach doesn't care anymore. And the coach they have we still have in Nigeria only few of them upgrade their standard mm. because in table tennis table tennis is just like a like a, a computer. You have to update your iPhone, you know, your phone or your computer because the table tennis the problem we still have most of the style. Nigerian are playing in the old in this time. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in the cage at the junior. <laughs> still playing what she still playing years ago. Exactly. Uh, table tennis 10 years, years ago is different than table tennis yeah. here in 2015. So most of the coaches, they need to go on coaching course outside Nigeria, you know, to upgrade their coaching level, their standard. So I think that's the problem we have. Because from my experience as a professional player, they are what my coach in my club or outside Nigeria was coaching me. It's totally different to what the coach, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what the coach is you know, teaching people in Nigeria. I think that's what also helped me because I went on professional earlier uh, and that's what helped my career and that's what me keep me still playing because uh -huh. I learned a lot. And table tennis is something that you cannot just, it's not hang somewhere. It's not from somewhere, it's not hang. Uh -huh. Everybody learn every day. Even the coach, the coaches also learn from we players.